Manchester United are a mess under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, losing to Liverpool in the manner they did on Sunday, by conceding five goals, is utterly shambolic given the talent within this squad, and the board need to forget their previous Antonio Conte concerns, swallow their pride and bring the Italian to Old Trafford. Manchester United were abysmal, in every sense of the word, against Liverpool on Sunday. Mohamed Salah scored a hat-trick for the Reds, with Naby Keita and Diogo Jota also on target. And, now, the inquest begins. Under Solskjaer, United have made progress. They're a Champions League team, they have an attacking squad, they have individuals who can get into any team in the world. But they're starting to unravel. Worryingly so. The writing has been on the wall for some time. Even if matches United have won this season, they've not convinced. And Liverpool were so ruthless, so in the mood to upset the Old Trafford crowd, they exposed every weakness within the side. Solskjaer, as mentioned above, deserves credit. But the United manager is now out of it when it comes to carrying on. It's time for the Glazers to swallow their pride and make a change. In 2018, when Jose Mourinho's time at Old Trafford was drawing to a close, the board considered Conte. But they had concerns over the Italian and whether he'd be another Mourinho, a combative figure who wants things his way. However, now, the Glazers need to suck it up and bring the former Juventus, Inter Milan and Chelsea manager back to these shores. While Conte can indeed be problematic, he's worth the hassle. Big time. Because he wins. At Juventus, Inter and Chelsea it's been the same story. League titles, cup triumphs, only a European crown missing. How United need that. To win again, to be successful again. Forget all this nonsense about trusting the process. The process has ran its course. Previously, the Glazers have only taken action when it looks like Champions League qualification will be beyond them. Or when it's already too late. But with Conti available, they have to act. These United players need telling, they need to be shown who is in control. Solskjaer gets on with them, but he doesn't get at them enough, publicly at least. So, therefore, it's certainly the right time to bring the axe crashing down. Solskjaer was downbeat after the result, admitting it was his darkest day in charge of the team. It is not easy to say something apart from it is the darkest day I have had leading these players, he said. We were not good enough individually and as a team, can't give a team like Liverpool those chances but unfortunately we did. The whole performance was not good enough. We created openings, they had chances and they have been clinical. The third goal decided the game. And Solskjaer also took responsibility, adding, it is mine, that is it. The coaching staff are very, very good, brilliant. I choose the way we approach the game, we were not clinical enough, and gave away too much spaces and when you give good players space they score. We are at home, playing against Liverpool. We have gone here over the last two and a half years and had a similar approach to high press but today they scored on their chances I think. As Manchester United we should always try to stamp our authority on the game. That fourth goal is when you go into half time with having to score one every 15 minutes. I know these boys are capable of it. The fourth, that was probably game over. You can look at last season we lose to Spurs 6,1 this is worse miles worse. This is miles worse for me as a Manchester lad. I've just got to say we have to get over this as quickly as we can. I have come too far. We have come too far as a group. We are too close to give up now. It is going to be a difficult one. The players will be low but Terry loads of characters there. We know we are ock bottom, we can't feel any worse than this. Let's see where we take it.